about change in our lives. And our last epic of this summer, that's what we call our youth group, was, or their youth group, we were part of it, Epic City. Um, we were sitting, all eight of us Americans were sitting in chairs in front of the students. And after we'd been serving with them for 10 weeks, just doing life with them, getting to know them, being a part of their church, we got to sit in front of them one last time. And it was very emotional, but it was also super cool. And so I just kind of wanted to walk you through today some of the thoughts that I was thinking as I sat in this chair and thought about the last 10 weeks of our summer and how we spent time with these people. So Chefon, while we were sitting there, said, and I quote, you will always be part of Epic City. You are the co-founders of Epic. And that was so moving to hear, and that was a truth that I think we needed to know, and that was a statement that was full of transformation and change, and a statement that was to be celebrated. So, they mentioned some of the people that um, we saw transformation in. Daniel was one of those. He was a student who didn't even know the name of Jesus. And then we got to witness him at a prayer event, praying for his country and praying for this church and praying for the peers that he had just met. Um, we met this guy named Roddick, who had just, he was a part of the leadership team. And he had just committed his life seriously to Christ about a year ago. And then halfway through our summer, he committed his life to full-time ministry and became the number one leader of the youth group. And then we also met this guy named Victor, um, who basically became our ninth teammate, and we loved him so much. Fun fact, Victor is spelled with a W in Polish, so it looks like Wichter. So that's what we called him all summer. But he wasn't even planning on really being involved this summer. We met him, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna work. Like, he put up like bouncy houses or something, I don't really know, but that was his plan for the summer. And then he ended up just totally jumping in, going in full force. Um, becoming a part of our team, and now he's like the second-hand man leading the youth group. So we clearly saw transformation. We saw the Lord work through different people, and it was quite beautiful to witness. And then as I just sat there in those chairs thinking about those specific people who were speaking over us, I remembered I was just reminiscing on what I had experienced and the different thoughts I had had throughout the summer. So I'm sitting there, I'm looking out, and I'm just remembering all of the times that I was overwhelmed. Um, with anxiety and questions were going through my head of, oh my gosh, am I doing enough? Like I felt so much pressure to make sure I was doing enough and make sure these people liked me and the questions were just going through my mind. Of, Should I be loving these people more? Can I be doing more? Am I doing enough? Am I not, am I not doing enough? Should I be spending more time? And it was like a daily occurrence of just this pressure that I felt to perform and to be enough. And as I sat there thinking through those questions, the Lord was reminding me of the ways that he had revealed himself to me through that throughout the summer. And so I believe God brought change in me by teaching me how to rest and teaching me how to listen. We had this bench, um, this swing outside of our apartment that I would go and sit at in the mornings. And there were mornings where I would sit out there for hours and just listen to his voice and listen for his spirit in silence. And so instead of trying to figure out all of these things on my own, he taught me how to rest. And God brought change in me by allowing me to witness prayer. This church that we worked with would literally fall to their knees in prayer, like almost by the hour. Every single thing that came up, let's pray about it, let's pray about it, let's pray for you, let's pray about the building that we're looking for, let's pray for the students. Daily they would pray, and it was something that I'd never experienced before. And God brought change in me by showing me how to be dependent on him and how to seek him in prayer. He brought change in me by showing me the gifts that he wanted to give me and teaching me how to receive them freely instead of feeling like I needed to work for them or I needed to be enough. He brought change in me by showing me what it looked like to live with intention, to live walking out on a mission field every single day with one goal in mind instead of walking out every single day with the selfish desires of my heart. He brought change in me by showing me his sovereignty and showing me how I could surrender and trust in him instead of like I said earlier, just being stressed and trying to figure it out all on my own and being anxious about whether or not I'm doing enough. He showed me that he is doing enough and I can rest in that. So this summer, I just believe that the Lord brought transformation to me by calming my heart and giving me time to rest and mending my soul. He set me free of all of these thoughts so that I could look out on that crowd as I was sitting in the seats one last time and rest knowing that even though we were leaving, he was going to take care of them. And even though I was walking into a bunch of unknowns at home, I could rest knowing that he was in control and he was holding me. So God brought change in me this summer and God brought change in Poland.